Before we start, like the video or I am taking your cat. Greetings, school cats. Now, this video is not meant for everyone, and this is an opinion based on my experience as someone with an alliance that is starving for the win and to get Reed League's trophy back again. I know that on average the lucky card event is great for Plasma if not one of the best, but what people fail to realize is that the Plasma bundles are just a bit better than the custom Plasma or high tech Plasma bundle that comes with research speedups and it does follow random luck too. So regarding the lucky card you are either be a lucky or unlucky. So if you are lucky, yes, it's great. But if you are not, it will fall back and it might be even almost worse or the same as the other limited bundles. Now for those who doesn't know, the lucky card event is the best event in the entire game but for bio caps. I'm not talking about a little bitter bundles here. I'm talking about the bundles that is far from just better. It is at least four or five times better, if not more. In general, Biocaps comes with the most of the bundles. Yet, it comes alongside this, this bundle too when you buy them. You're not just buying tickets, but Biocaps as well. So the bundle of $100 has a 50,000 Biocaps. $100 on this event could give you a quarter million Biocaps or more, which is five times the value. You would say, but plasma is better. Yes, and that is true. Plasma is better in general because it gives you the tools to unlock more technology and troops. But there are many good plasma bundles, and Lucky Card could give you at maximum maybe 50% or double. That's it. But in the case of the biocaps, it is always more, and it is always at least 200% or more. You don't feel it because it always comes with the bundles. What do I mean by, by, by you don't feel it? You don't feel the bio cups because you have a lot of bio cups. Every single bundle gives you a bio cups. Then you don't feel the importance of bio cups itself. But I promise you during hard matchups, just anywhere, raid league or not, your bio cups get consumed like water. It's like a stamina for top players. If you're not a top player or a hunter, you know that it's the most precious resources in war alongside locators and healing speedups just open up your inventory just open up your inventory and watch your vib point watch your own vib if you are only vib 12 just vib 12 assuming you stopped spending at vib 12 you have bought around if not at least a 10,000 worth of biocaps, 10,000 dollars worth of biocaps, if not more, and that's around 5 million biocaps. I'm not even assuming that you are one of those players who has five zeros and got at least 50 million biocaps. 50 freaking million biocaps. Now take a breath and tell me where's the cat did your biocaps go? Why there is nothing left of it? It's simple, because it's needed as much as you need energy in your life or water. With biocaps you can make plays and do ton of, ton of stuff. And you truly got no idea how much millions of biocaps we need to use during raid league or hard matchups because of the marsh speedups. In conclusion, I believe the lucky card event is best to use for biocaps for mid and high spenders who is competitive. But there is a small exception here, that you are close to the next milestone upgrade that would make you win the next battle. Like for example unlocking a new tier or getting a bigger rally capacity. As for the young cats and the low spenders, you might want to stay on the plasma path and avoid biocaps. Continue watching the video and see how much biocaps I will be getting. And tell me yourself if there is anything in the entire game comes closer to the amount of biocaps I would be getting now.